Hello all. My name is Abhinav Singh. I am from the Department of Computer Science, Kai Group of Institutions. Today we will discuss the topic Introduction to Information Theory. Introduction to Information Theory is concerned with representing data in a compact fashion, a task known as data compression or source coding, as well as with the transmitting and storing it in a way that is robust to errors, a task known as error correction or channel coding. Now, information theory often concerns itself with measures of information of the distributions associated with random variables. Information theory is basically used in development of lossless compression techniques. Now the two more important uh, terms in, in the field of information theory are self-information and entropy. But before getting into these terms, let's understand few terms. The first is experiment that the, any procedure or a trial that we can do in finite number of times and have some set of outcomes is called experiment. For an example, we roll a dice. So when we roll a dice, there are several outcomes. Like we can have one, we can have two, three or four, five or six. Now, set of all these outcomes which can come after rolling a dice is called a sample space. Now, the second term is that the random experiment. Any experiment which has more than one outcome, like when we roll a dice, then there are many number of outcomes from one to six. And when, when it, we toss a coin, then again we have a two outcomes that is we can have either head or tail. So the experiment is if we are rolling a dice, then this experiment can have a, a more than one outcome. So we can say it is a random experiment also. And when we talk about an event, then it is a set of outcomes. Example, like if we say that the probability of getting more than three in rolling a dash. Now we know that we can get the maximum number of six outcomes from rolling a dice. But because we have a condition here that we need to uh, calculate the probability of getting more than three in rolling a dash. So that set is we can have either four, five or six. Now the self information So let's understand about the self-information with one example. Suppose there is one sender and one receiver and sender is sending a message to a receiver that the tomorrow is a Sunday. Okay, so suppose if today is a Saturday, so if sender is sending a message that tomorrow is a Sunday, so it is already known to the receiver that if today is a Saturday, then tomorrow definitely will be a Sunday. So there will, there will not be any kind of uh, information for the receiver in this particular message. So if we talk about the self information in this message, then that is a zero for the receiver. But when the sender is saying that there will be a rain tomorrow, 
then there is some some information about uh, about the rain for the receiver in this particular message so we have two events that the probability of rain heavily tomorrow or the probability of the next day is sunday if today is saturday so in the first event there is some self information okay and in in the second event there is no self information in this but the probability of happening the second event is the maximum because if today is saturday then there will definitely be a sunday on tomorrow but in the first event the probability is something but not maximum so let there is a event a which is set of outcome of some random experiment e then self contained information is contained in event a we can represent the uh, self information with i so the i of a that a is an event is log base b one oblique probability of happening a the second term is entropy now as we know that the self information which we have discussed is for event now the entropy is for experiment in information theory the entropy of random variable is the average level of information surprise or uncertainty inherent in the variables possible outcomes let there are following experiment from a1 to an we have n number of experiment and the probability of happening a single if experiment is 1 and s which is a sample space is all the outcome of the experiment now we can represent the entropy with h so the entropy is the summation of the multiplication of the probability of happening of that event and the self contained information is related with that event now as we all know that the self contained information is log base b one oblique probability of happening event a so when we uh, solve this because this uh, probability is in uh, is uh, in in one oblique p one oblique probability so when we take it in uh, it upward then the formula for the entropy is a minus summation of probability of happening event a log base b probability of happening event a so let's understand this with one of the example suppose we have a sequence 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 and 5 now in this particular sequence 5 and 6 are actually happening uh, two times while 1 2 and 3 and 4 are happening a single time so because we have eight event here so probability of uh, uh, probability for 1 is 1 by 8 probability is 2 for 1 by 8 probability of 3 is 1 by 8 and probability is 4 probability for 4 is 1 by 8 because they are coming only a single time in this particular sequence and the size of the sequence is 8 now because 5 and 6 are happening two number of times so the probability of happening 5 is 1 by 4 and probability of happening 6 in 1 by 4 uh, again so uh, with that particular formula which we have discussed let's put the values of these probabilities so what we have we have 
minus so 1 by 8 log base 2 1 by 8 multiplied by 4 that 4 is because 1 2 3 and 4 are actually a single single event and that uh, the probability of those events are 1 by 8 so uh, on the place of writing 1 by 8 log base to 1 by 8 four times what uh, I have written here 1 by 8 log base to 1 by 8 multiplied by 4. And the same is the case with uh, 1 by 4 because the probability of event 5 and 6 is 1 by 4. Now, when we solve this, we have because you, that 4 comes inside and that comes 1 by 2 and log base 2 8 is a 3. So 1 by 2 multiplied by 3 plus 1 by 2 multiplied by 2 and that comes 2.5. It means, which is the entropy, it means that if we code the example sequence, if we code 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 and 5, we can never get a bit, number of bits less than 2.5. That is entropy. So this is all about the information theory. Thank you.